The chairman of Telecom Air and Michael Smurfett launched the new phone system at the National Concert Hall in Dublin. What makes Aircell different from other mobile systems is that it's based on the cellular principle and involves reusing radio channels. And as if to prove it works efficiently, the Minister for Communications, Mr Mitchell, made the inaugural phone call to Pat Kenny in the streets of Dublin. I wanted to ask you about the, um, the time you were awarded Best Dressed Man of the Year. <laughs> what I want to know is how can an interviewer in RTE afford to be Best Dressed Man? Well, it's quite simple, really, Minister. In RT, we can dress for half price because uh, we only have to dress from the waist up. <laughs> Seriously, do you think this uh, new development would be of help to people in broadcasting? Do you see it as being used in broadcasting? As a matter of fact, it does come in useful. Uh, the other day on the Today at Five programme, we had to talk to um, a friend of yours, actually, Tom Darby. <laughs> Did you actually talk to Tom Darby? <laughs> Cellular systems are the very latest telephone technology. Prices start at £1,400 plus VAT, but the phones can be leased too. Initially we expect that businessmen will avail of it, people who are on the move who must be contactable uh, in their car during the day or else who must be able to contact anywhere in the world during the day. We expect that sales representatives will use it, the medical profession, anybody who is on the move who must be contactable. It's available in the Greater Dublin area at the moment. When will you move outside that? Well, it's available, as you say, in the Greater Dublin area at the moment. We are planning at this point in time to extend it to the Leinster area, to Cork, Limerick, the west of Ireland, and we hope that eventually, depending on market reaction, it will be a fully national service within four or five years.